Hey everyone, welcome back to Literate Studio. So in our last video, we already enabled the developer tab in our Excel spreadsheet. So for today, we're going one step further by enabling macros and ActiveX. So these two things is what we need to automate your Excel task using DBA. Let's go here in our Excel spreadsheet. Macros are programs that you write in Excel to automate repetitive tasks. So like formatting reports, copying data, or sending emails. But then, by default, Excel disables macros for security reasons. So if macros is, or if macros are not enabled, even though we have a VBA code, it won't run unless we enable the macros. So to enable the macros, let's go to File, and then go to Options, then select the Trust Center, and then go to Trust Center Setting. Now, on Trust Center setting, we will go to Macro setting. On the Macro settings, we will select the Enable All Macros, Not Recommended, Potential Dangerous Code Can Run. You may think that enabling these macros is dangerous. Macros are only dangerous when they come from uh, untrusted sites or untrusted location. But if the file is yours and you created it, then it is safe to enable them. And then we also have to check this trust center to the BBA project's object model. And then click OK and then OK. Now our macros are enabled and now ready to go. Next, we have to enable the ActiveX control. ActiveX control are advanced form controls like buttons, checkbox, combo box, and other objects. They're perfect for building interactive Excel tools. So you often use them when creating dashboard or custom forms inside the spreadsheet. So how to enable them? Since we already have developer tab, you can also access the ActiveX control or security setting here at developer tab. So click on the macro security and it will bring us directly to the trust center. Then here we have to select the ActiveX setting and then we have to choose the enable all controls without restriction and without prompt. Not recommended potential dangerous controls can run. So the same as macro setting it is only dangerous if the file is coming from untrusted location. Now click OK and now your Excel is ready to use buttons, drop downs, and other controls. That's it and now you know how to enable both macros and ActiveX control. You're getting ready to build your real automated tools inside Excel spreadsheet. In our next video, we'll record our very first macro. No coding yet, just recording. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, follow and share this video, and comment below if you have any Excel problems or automation ideas. See you in the next video, and until then, keep on learning and stay literate.